Hi, in this video, we're going to cover summarizing categorical data. Uh, and in doing this, we're going to cover frequency tables, that is counting the values within each category in a categorical variable, and proportions. So distilling that information into a single value or proportion. So let's get to it. We're going to continue on with our uh, state energy ranking data set from EIA. Um, in order to exercise this, we, we're going to have to make a new categorical variable. So the categorical variables that we have in there so far, uh, we just have state, which isn't very interesting uh, because we have a single state for each in each category. So let's make a more interesting categorical variable. And our categorical variable here is going to ask the question, produces natural gas or not? So we'll make a new variable, we'll say df3 in square brackets and quote, we'll simply ask produce produces ng for natural gas, question mark. So we'll expect a yes or no response here. Yes, it produces, no, it doesn't. To make this happen, we'll borrow a function from Python called where, so the where function. And the way the where works is we first give it an argument that uh, returns a true or a false. So some kind of Boolean statement as we used before. So for example, we can say from pandas is null. And we'll ask ourselves, is this DF3 natural gas column null or not? So it's gonna go through value by value in this variable, natural gas. And if the value is null, it'll return whatever we have for the second argument here. So we'll put a no, it doesn't produce natural gas. However, if the value, uh, if is null returns false, so it's not null, then that means that that state produces a natural gas. So that's the way this where function works. You always give it something that returns a true false, so a Boolean statement. If it's true, then it's gonna return whatever values in the second argument. If it's false, it'll return whatever values in the third argument here. So let's see this in action. We can just take a look at this variable real quick. See what we've gotten. And we see we have a bunch of yeses and a bunch of noes. So remember these last 18 are no because they had null values for natural gas, but the upper ones all produce a natural gas. Let's take a look at the, the data types for this. Produce natural gas object. So this is a text uh, variable, not a categorical one yet. So let's course this to be a categorical variable and then we can move on. And so we just need to use our as type um, function here and as type category. And we'll take a look at our D types again and make sure that worked. And it did, we've got a categorical variable there. And so we can move on. So now let's make use of our frequency table to see how many states produce natural gas and how many do not. So we'll make, we'll store this table in an object called freq, F-R-E-Q, get our data frame, our new variable produces natural gas. We'll start with that, encased in the square brackets. And the function we wanna use here is value counts. So we say dot value counts. And as the name of this function implies, it's just going to count the values in this variable, category by category. So let's take a look at what we get. So we'll print our frequency table. And lo and behold, we see that we have those 18 states are a no, they do not produce natural gas. And the remaining 33 are a yes, they do. Recall that there's 51 states because we're including DC here. Okay, well, that's great. Let's find a proportion from this. So if we wanna ask ourselves, well, what proportion of states produce natural gas? Well, you could probably do this in your head um, or very easily with a cat uh, with a calculator or even just in, in the cell here, it'd be very easy to say, oh, well, it's 18 divided by 33 plus 18, right? And you'll get the right answer. But this isn't really programming. So if we, we have to ask ourselves if we were to update this data set, if we got this next year and we wanted to just reuse this code, could we do so without having to go in and really edit a whole lot? 
And if we write it this way, then the answer is no. We'd have to go in and manually adjust these values by inspecting this table, and that's, that involves work. So let's write this um, in code that will automatically calculate the proportion for us, even as values change. So let's first find our numerator of the proportion. And so we're going to reference our frequency table. So this frequencies table is um, just stored as a series. So it's just the values 33 and 18 indexed by yes and no. So if we want to access those states, the count of the states that do produce natural gas, we just need to say yes. So frequency, square brackets, yes. And that will return our um, value of 33, as we see here. The denominator, well, we want to, our denominator needs to be all the states. So we need to get 33 plus 18. And there's many ways we could do this. We could say um, frequency of yes plus frequency of no. Uh, something that's a little bit more general would be to just simply sum, when we use the sum function, this frequency table. And this is more general and, and easier to use if we had, say, suppose we had five categories. We wouldn't want to necessarily necessarily type out all five categories, or if there were, say, 50 categories, we wouldn't want to type them all out. But regardless of the number of categories, if we do sum, then we'll get, we'll always get the total of the frequency of the frequency table, and we'll get the total number of observations that we have. Um, and we can see that here. 33, 51 observations, or states. Let's put this together. Well, our proportion here will be just our numerator divided by our denominator. And let's print this. So then we'll print our proportion is equal to prop. And there's our proportion, 0. 0.6470, da, 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 a whole bunch of digits. It's good practice to round this off. Let's round this to say three significant figures and redo this. There we go. So 0.647 um, states produce natural gas. We could simplify this. So here we did this in a whole bunch of different lines, but we could really just get this done in, in one line. If we print the proportion, we can just replace prop here with the input that we had for our numerator object divided by the sum of frequency. And there we go, we've got it done in just one line and we get the same answer. Or if we wanna turn this into a percentage, basically instead of a proportion, just convert this to have units of percent. We'll sell the same value, but we will now um, multiply this by 100. And also important to include percent afterwards. So we'll do that. I don't like this little space after there. We can access the argument sep or whatever we want to separate our values in the in the print function. And I'm gonna, the default is to have a space there. I'm just gonna get rid of that. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. 64.7% of states produce natural gas. So there we have it. We've um, developed a frequency table or the count in each category. This is a very simple example with just two categories, but um, you know, if we have lots of categories, it'll work just the same. Um, and we found a proportion using code here. And so as the values of the underlying data set change, this code will update accordingly. And we've got proportion reported in a bunch of different ways here. Okay.